incident here. Fuel Perkins has recovered from Let It Rip. Now he's on the edge. Fox 2 Edge at 11. Start now. Mary Bell felt she was alone. But she was not alone. A God's presence was with her. Her only neighbors, vacant homes and gunfire. Tonight, Maribel is finally at rest. It was a story that touched our hearts. An elderly woman, scared and alone, hoping for help. And thanks to you, we tried. But sadly, when Maribel died, there was no one there to claim her. That is, until today, when her family and even people she'd never met came to pay their respects. Brad Edwards introduced you to her, and today, he was there to say goodbye. A day drenched with gold in the constant kiss of nature's breath. Farewell, Miss Maribel. They came with flowers. Came with flowers and signed. If one thought a stranger funeral would tend strange, one would be raw. It was said a few moments before the service that this is the most important woman that I never knew. I believe none of you knew her. This story began with a news report. You're my only salvation. Maribel Cannon. It's all empty. All the houses are empty. That's what scares me at night. That all the houses are empty. I'm here alone. If I scream, who would hear me? Who would hear me if I scream? Nobody. Nobody would hear me. Damn shame. She says, nobody will hear me. Who will hear me? Who will hear me? She touched my heart in so many different ways. I had to ask my husband to give me permission to weep. I wept for her. The never married only child rejected offers to move. Shackled in her prison of fear, she died in her brick house on a blown up street, shipped to the morgue and stored, no next of kin, for nearly five months. amazing that one little old lady can take you this far and make you care about something so strongly as family. Our story reached the chorus here and the child of an elderly cousin in Florida who wasn't here, didn't know her anymore, but added a piece to Maribel's story. Maribel was Jewish and had a place, a plot, joined in earth with her parents. Serenaded by Christopher Burton. He saw the story, drove the street, and wanted to play on this day. Why? He speaks in string. This was a mitzvah, a good deed done for good deed's sake, in a plain pine box here. Who would hear me? And heard. Brad Edwards, Fox 2.